So good afternoon. We are back again with another transfer video. Apologies about yesterday. I fell asleep. <laughs> I was supposed to drop another one at 10 o'clock last night and I didn't record it. Schoolboy error, but I will be recording three today. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for all three of them. Obviously, this is the first one. We're going to speak about Renato Sanchez in a second. Um, who's actually done very, very, very well for Portugal in this Euro so far and is at, in action again tonight against Belgium at 8 o'clock. So very interesting to see how he gets on um, tonight as well. But make sure you're following my Instagram. I'm doing a giveaway on there um, next month, which is only a number of days away now. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Anyone can get involved, but you must follow the Insta, which is in the description of this video. Thank you to everybody who has already subscribed to the channel. This channel's flying at the moment, so thank you very much. And make sure you stick in a like on the video. Um, but Renato Sanchez, is this 2017 all over again? Um, because he burst on the scene and um, he ended up at Swansea, I think it was. And it didn't go to plan for him at Swansea, did it? But um, he's gone away. He's been around a few different clubs along the way and he's settled at Lyon. Uh, no, he hasn't. I'm lying. He settled at Lille, uh, who won the title in Liga this season. And he played 23 games of that campaign. And by all accounts, he's done really well out there. I was absolutely baffed when I looked at his age. He is still only 23 years old. And when I watched him the other night against um, Germany, was it Germany? It wasn't Germany. I'm lying. It was France, the France-Portugal game. He was superb. He was absolutely superb. He was everything that you want from a midfielder. Now, listen, I'm not going to get carried away one bit that we're linked to him because I've seen us linked to hundreds of players already this summer and we ain't signed anyone. Um, having said that, not many teams have signed anyone, but obviously there is quite a few players at the Euros that we're linked to and quite a few players, Granite Xhaka, the video I'll be dropping at four o'clock this afternoon, who is linked with a move away, but obviously still in Euro action. Again, they're playing against France tomorrow. So interesting to see what happens there. I think that's a foregone conclusion. If I'm honest, I think France will go through. Granite Xhaka will then probably get his move. But uh, with Renato Sanchez, um, he is actually a very good player. I think that the move to the Premier League back in the day was probably way too soon for him. You know, and whoever advised him on that move probably didn't do him a, a great deal of credit, really, because I think he's a lot better than he showed in the Premier League. And it's, it'd be very interesting to see if we could pull this off, because if we could, listen, he is a very talented footballer. And I think that he's got more about his game than just, you know, hustle and bustle in midfield. Very good with his feet. He can bomb forward. We've seen that in the Euros again. You know, he just gets the ball and he's a driving force, whether that's centrally or down the wings. Like... There was a game I watched the other night, I think it was the Hungary game, where he was just bombing down the right wing, like driving the team forward. And we haven't really got anybody in midfield that can drive the team forward, that can push us up the pitch, gain another 20, 30, 40 yards up the pitch, win free kicks in dangerous areas, but then also have the know-how and the capabilities to be able to sniff danger as well. Listen, Thomas Party was brought in for this reason, by the way. And I don't think it's gone great for him. I think that... Um, a couple of injuries along the way didn't help him. But I also think the way we mismanaged him, the manager threw him in very quickly, threw him in way too soon after hardly playing any football. And I don't think that helped him, if I'm honest. And then obviously he picked up the injuries. But, you know, I, I've um, I've watched Sanchez for on and off for a few years since he was in the Premier League. And obviously we see him on the, the international stage quite a lot when there's these tournaments and, you know, Portugal are on in the background you see him playing etc etc and he's always been a player that you think hmm, we're actually all right but what's what's wrong with you here because it hasn't really gone to plan um anywhere other than Lil. <laughs> it really ain't let's be honest here um he come through as the wonder kid the next big thing and he's kind of gone from up here to down here and now he's building himself back up again and sometimes when you come through at a massive football club like he did um the pressure can get to you. The pressure of the, the have to win every game, the pressure of the money that is attached to it as well. Listen, some people go off the rails when it's big money thrown at them. You know, they take their eye off the ball and eye off of what got them into that position in the first place. I'm not suggesting he's done that, but listen, it might be a reason why he went whoosh real quick. But at the same time, I'm very impressed with what he can do. His tackling's decent, his passing's all right. 
and his bombing forward is insane. Like he literally just charges past people. Like there's not many players that have got the ability to pick a ball up, two or three players around them and drive a team forward. And like I said, we haven't really got anybody in that midfield that can do that. And I think that if we put him next to Thomas Party, I think that could be a good a good move. And listen, he ain't going to cost that much money. Let's be honest here. He's not going to be um, Basuma type money. Um, but who would you like? Like, listen, let's be honest here. If it's a choice out of the two, I'm taking Basuma in a heartbeat. But at the same time, I do think that if we can't, for whatever reason, get Eve Basuma, then this ain't too bad of a second choice, if I'm honest. Because I think that having had that experience of playing in the Premier League, albeit it was a fouled mission that he that he had, I think that going away, rebuilding his career again, winning a title, you know, doing all right in the Euros, I think that that stands him in good stead going forward for the next move. And like I said, he is only 23. So, you know, it seems like he's been around forever, probably because he came through at such a young age. You know, I think he played for Swansea back in, what, 16, 2016, maybe? I think it was about then. So he must have been, what, 18? You know, and like I said, the pressure can get to people sometimes. And, you know, he's gone to France. There was really no pressure on him in France. It was all pressure on PSG to win a title. And Lille have ended up going on, kicking on, winning the title. And he's having a glorious, so far, Euro 2021. It's not 2020, it's 2021. Uh, let's just make that abundantly clear. But I do think that he's, um, he's a player that we should be after. He's a player that we're apparently linked to. Um, I'd love to get your thoughts on Renato Sanchez. Do you think the move to the Premier League was too quick for him? Do you think he's any good? And do you think that we should go and get him? Because, like I said, we're linked to him and he ain't going to be the £50 million player. Yes, he's going to cost maybe 25 30s perhaps, but at the same time... Is um is going to be a lot cheaper than Eve Basuma, and it could be a masterstroke. But at the same time, I would rather Basuma. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Leave it in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on him. And um, yeah, I've been really impressed with him. I really have. And I think that he's somebody who would elevate our midfield desperately, real quick as well. Because, like I said, we haven't really got that marauding power in midfield to push a team forward and get us on the front foot real quick. So hopefully. If we um, don't get Basuma, then this guy comes in because I do like him. I do think he's a good player. So you, all you guys that say, do you actually rate anybody? Well, there you go. Renato Sanchez, good footballer. Uh, make sure you leave all your comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, share the content around. I do appreciate that as well. And make sure you're sticking a big thumbs up on the video. I always appreciate each and every one of you that do that. And the Instagram is scrolling there. Lee Gunner 82 That is in the comment section down below. So make sure... You go and get involved if you want to be involved in the giveaway. I'll be back at four o'clock. Um, Granite Xhaka, we're going to talk about him. And then I'll be back again at 10 o'clock after the football tonight. So listen, all have a wonderful Sunday, whatever it is you're doing. And um, we're out of here, baby. Don't forget, Arteta out and Southgate out.